If he was standing in front of me, I would just look at him and thank you for giving me not only the best life and childhood, but the best family that you could have given me from UCF. Um, I just, I would want to thank him for allowing me to have the experiences that I've had, but also thank him for showing me what someone who never works a day in their life because they love what they do, continue to just love life and continue to love his family and love where he is. Um, he's shown me what unconditional love is when you go through the hard times of a season to the best times of a season. Um, no matter what happens, you're gonna continue to pour your heart out into whatever you do. Um, and he's shown me that a life, that's easily a life lesson, a huge one that he's taught me that I've been able to watch my entire, my entire life. And um, he's the greatest, one of the greatest blessings in my life. And I'm so, so proud of him for getting to his 300th game and his 25th year. And I can't imagine where he's gonna go. And I'm gonna cry, so that's, that's great. <laughs> Love you, dad. <laughs> so yeah, okay. <laughs> I would say thank you. You know, thank you, Mark, for, um, you know, the friendship and, you know, your patience with me. And, you know, just just thank you for the way you've inspired me, man. Look, I have a microphone now, okay? That's because of you, you know? I'm, I'm imitating you, man, you know? But, hey, this is the impact that you've had on my life, man. I contacted UCF about a master's degree because I wanted to stay a part of this family of with you guys and you know that's because of, of, of mark daniels man so i you know he's people don't do what he, he has done for me and all of this publicity and hands forward i was just known in the sec but everything that you see um that's that that is going on that was because this brother shared his platform with me and i'm forever grateful for it and for that all i can say is I love you, Mark. I love you, brother. And let's continue to enjoy this football season. It's your boy, TJ, down in New Orleans. Hell is you dead. Well, one, thank you for the love of Seinfeld and Larry David and Curb Your Enthusiasm, because that will always be a very special tie for he and I. But I will also say that thank you, Mark Daniels, for being the the mentor, for being the friend, for for being a pretty pretty uh, pretty righteous dude for as many years as you have been to me, and I know that Knight fans probably feel the same way. You know what I'd say? I'd say thank you, Mark, for allowing me to be a part of your life. Thank you for allowing me to get to know your family. Thank you for your friendship. Uh, whenever there's something out there of anybody's family, Mark will always call and see how we're doing. In the off season, he talks to, he'll call about four or five times to see how my family's doing, and he brings me up to date with his family. He cares. Mark Daniels, thank you for being who you are, the person you are, and the friend you are. More than anything, Mark Daniels is my friend. I would have to say that if I had to say anything about Mark and, and his relationship with UCF and me, I would say that I would have to thank him because it's hard to spend 25 years with one school when you got other schools around, you know, bugging you, what have you, and have that much love, not only for the 25 years, but every game. In 25 years, he's been excited and has been you know, UCF fan for all those games, every season for 25 seasons. And for that, I thank you very much. I would say, uh, Mark, thank you for the 30 years. Uh, it's been an amazing ride. Uh, I, I, not that it's over. We got probably 30 more to go. Uh, and I just want to say congratulations. It's been great and uh, hope for many more. I would say thank you for, as I said before, a job well done. and. I think anytime you put 25 years of service in with the loyalty and again, he, he's gone through as many uh, great situations as bad situations with coaches and players and everything else and he's always took the, took the positive outlook on it all and, uh, and again, I, I think he's done a great job of promoting UCF and not just with the fan base but nationally. He was a blessing to me. 
He was a tremendous hire to UCF and a great blessing to UCF in the last 25 years. He is the, the voice of UCF and always will be, and uh, possibly the greatest hire they ever had when it comes to the entire athletic department. I would say, Mark, you are a pro. You are a really, really big and instrument, instrumental part of our success here. Um, we couldn't have done it without you, and uh, we thank you for all the years of just amazing radio that you've given us in the community. Mark, it was such a great honor working with you through all those years at UCF, all the trips to the NCAA tournament, the coaches shows, the radio shows, the TV shows. You were the ultimate professional. It's been an honor to work with you through all those years. Mark, I just want to say, man, it's unbelievable how time flies. It, it, the fact that you're doing your 300th game, and this is year 25. I go back to 1998 when we met, and man, it's incredible. You had an unbelievable impact on everybody there in Orlando, everybody at UCF. Uh, you're such a great professional, everything that you do. And I just want to say thank you. Now, me being, uh, I guess, on the media side, I can really have a great appreciation for everything you've done. And this is a great honor for me to be asked to even speak on your behalf. Uh, you're such a great professional. You do a great job. And man, I'm just so proud of you. And I hope this 300th game for you is a great memory and definitely a special one. Go Knights. Uh, thank you, Mark, for all the inspiration and the guidance you've given me over the years um, doing what I do. I really uh, value our friendship and, uh, and the relationship we've had for 22 plus years. I love that he shares my enthusiasm with the school. So uh, I'm so proud of that school. And I'm proud to have you know, Mark associated for the last 25 years, 300 games, many more to come, I hope. You know, we have another generation in our, house, in our home now with, uh, at our house with, uh, with Eric and Jessica, with uh, Sebastian. And we're just, we, I know he, I want him to appreciate Mark Daniels. I would say that there's a few things in my life that are not influenced by him. And as I get older and graduated college and started my job, and there's so many things from him that I pick up on that I didn't even realize. And for me, the last two years especially, it's his famous line, play them all, win them all. And for me, I interpret it as no matter what that obstacle is for me, play it all, win it all. And that, dedication and spirit is something that I don't think I could put into words about my dad. For someone that is as eloquent as he is, it makes me at a loss for words because he's just the coolest dad out there. And I'm so lucky to be a part of our family, but the UCF family. And it's just the most amazing experience in the world. We have the highest regard for you. Bob Costas, Joe Buck, uh, whoever, Al Michaels, right here. You up here, okay? I love being a part of the broadcast team for UCF. Uh, we're big fans up here, but Mark, you know you're a brother. Congratulations on the 300th game. We know you got another 300 in you. You're a great ambassador for the university, and they're very fortunate to have you. Love you as a brother, all right? Uh, you guys know Annie, right? What do you got? Congratulations, Mark. <laughs> we gotta we gotta get going. We got a tea time. <laughs> we we got a tea time, you guys. Love y'all. Congratulations, Mark. See you down the road. See you at Spectrum. <laughs>